Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're back at it today. Uh, I did the uh, fuel pump yesterday and uh, all seems to be okay at the moment. Uh, the car's running a lot better now. Uh, so that's another thing we can tick off the list. Uh, I'm just getting ready to put the um, seat cushion back down. Uh, but I don't really want to put it down with all this mess that was underneath it. Um, I even found a dead snail under the seat belt which was uh, a bit unusual but okay it was there a dead snail um but as i live in a flat uh it's a bit difficult to get uh, uh power down here for a hoover um so i'm going to go with the next best thing and that's a pack of wet wipes and i'm just going to try and get as much up as i can um i have done this in the past for cleaning little things up and it does work so we're going to try it today um and see how much I can get up. Anything's better than nothing. I just don't want to shove it back down there and all that dirt's under there. Uh, so I do like to try and keep my cars quite clean. So we'll have a little go at cleaning some of the muck off. As you can see, if you use the non-fragranced ones as well, I find that that's a little bit better. Um, over the years I've been doing it with wipers. Uh, sorry if the camera's a bit shaky, guys. Yeah, but I am quite tight in the back of this car, um, as I have got the uh, Honda Type R seats uh, from a new Type R in here, and they they are brilliant, but they don't go quite as far forward as the original ones. But I don't have many people in the back anyway, so it's not an issue. Um, so I'm just going to try and get as much up as I can, just so it's a bit nicer as I uh, really don't like mud and dirt and rust and things. And another thing as well, it's keeping me a bit entertained as we are all stuck in the house and getting a bit bored now. And we're only allowed out for one hour's exercise and to go to work. <sighs> Um, but I don't think too many people are listening to that as I've seen quite a few people out and about on the beach today so what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and do a little bit more and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back alright then guys um, that's what it looks like after I'm done. I used about, um, I would say about 20 wipes. Um, it's certainly not perfect, uh, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. Um, I haven't got debris in all these anymore. Um, haven't got my dead snail in there anymore, uh, which is nice. Um, it's just a lot better than what it was. I mean, you could go the whole hog and get a vacuum out here and vacuum it out, um, but at the moment I have to park my car quite far away from the flat so i don't have access to a hoover right now um, but i think for the moment this will do just fine um, i'm now going to put the uh, seat base back in and we'll see what it looks like with the with the base back in uh, all nice and proper all right everyone seat base is back in uh gave me a bit of a fight uh, but we got there in the end uh, it's a bit of a palaver trying to have to feed these uh seat belt buckles through at the same time as trying to clip the bloody base in. Um, we got there in the end. Uh, she's nice and strong again now. Um, surprisingly in really good condition, um, this fabric, I've got to be honest. Uh, for a 24 year old car, I'm quite shocked. No stains on it, no tears. I know it's only the base model um, type material, but I think that lasts a lot longer than uh, leather and things like that. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm going to show you how to get some um, dirt off the um, Alcantara seats in a minute as well. As uh, my work trousers put a bit of a mark on them, so I want to get that off. Uh, but that's the uh, fuel pump side of the car done now. So we can move on to the next problem when it arises, when we start driving it again. Uh, we just got to keep chipping our way through and I think we're going to be alright. Alright then guys. Uh, moving on to the seats now, um, the driver's seat, 
I'm not driving this car too much, but I have noticed that my work trousers have started to rub off onto the uh, Alcantara. As you can see, it's getting a bit uh, dirty there. Um, I have found just using an ordinary wet wipe does the job absolutely fine and it doesn't hurt the Alcantara. I know you can buy special cleaning wipes on the internet, but then why do you need to bother doing that? Uh, pack of 57p wet wipes do the job exactly the same I found it works absolutely fine Just give it a good rub and it just takes all the dirt off as you can see very dirty I think it's just off the material of my trousers I think I have noticed but as you can see if you just give it some gentle wipes not too hard it just brings it back as I do want to keep them looking nice as they do go well with the car just give it a nice clean down here as well where your trousers hit the side of it just wipe off any dirt that's on the inside as well And there we go. Looks nice. You can even put some nice little lines in it to make the seats look fresh and new. And there we go. A lot better. I hope you like this little video, guys. I know it wasn't that interesting, but I thought it would just give some people some entertainment. Uh, plus, it helps with my boredom. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you like this video, guys, and... Uh, We'll get ready for the next one.